हेलो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल फॉर योर प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर राइटिंग मैथड मॉडल आंसर शीट एंड टिप्स फॉर प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू इन दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट आई एम डिस्कसिंग राइटिंग मैथड दैट हाउ यू कैन राइट योर प्रैक्टिकल्स इन योर आंसर शीट so first of all you have to write down your aim or goal then you start with your requirement then you have to draw observation table according to your practical after that you follow your procedure for practical and show your work to examiner and give viva as i discussed in my previous video that practical number 6 9 10 16 23 23 and 24 will be asked in question number 1 so prepare very well for question number 1 in question number 2 same you have to write aim requirement and observation table whatever practical will ask in your exam practical number 15 19 20 and 22 will be asked in question number 2 so prepare very well for this 7 marks question number 3 here you have to write aim requirement and theory and procedure because the practical number 1 2 3 11 12 13 and 21 has no observation table so only you have to write appropriate theory and you have to follow procedure and show your work to examiner question number 4 here eight specimen will be arranged in separate table or in lab teacher or examiner will instruct you to go for identification in middle of your practical and new supplementary will be given to question number 4 you will only get 4 minute to identify and describe no extra time will be given to you you have to identify practical number 4 5 7 8 14 17 18 and 25 these are the confirm practical that will ask in exam so prepare it very well and i personally recommend all of you to don't miss this practical because it is very easy to score marks in this question question number 5 it is for your journal so proper cover it and also bring dissection box with you here i am sharing model paper for your practical exam question number 1 in this you have to write aim requirement observation table and result whatever practical will, will be asked in your exam you have to follow same procedure to write in your answer sheet question number 2 here same you have to write aim requirement observation table and conclusion whatever practical that have asked in your paper question number 3 here you have to write aim requirement description about your practical and conclusion and then you have to show it your work to examiner question number 4 here you have to identify and classify given specimen and here 4 minute time will be given to you here i am discussing eight practicals that will confirm ask in exam so prepare it very well and you can also make a notes for your instant preparation before your examination first specimen that i have written here is the permanent slide of ts of ovary and testes in this practical you have to draw either one diagram of testes or ovary that is asked in exam you have to draw it with pencil 
and write down the theory part of testes or ovary from your textbook second specimen it is of chart photograph and drawing of vs of ovule or stages of female gametophyte kept on counter table you have to identify it and write down the theory of structure of ovule and female gametophyte from your textbook and also you have to draw eight cell embryo structure in the answer sheet third specimen is it is of permanent slide of meiosis which is arranged on compound microscope you have to identify it and write down the theory of meiosis and its stages you can also draw a quick diagram of different stages of meiosis you can prepare two to three sen sentences for each phase from your textbook of standard 11 another specimen is of chart permanent slide or model will be given of blastula stage you have to draw diagram and you have to describe blastula stage you can prepare it from your textbook next practical is of any slide of disease causing organism will be kept on microscope you have to identify that organism and also you have to write its symptoms causes and spreading and you can also draw diagram and prepare this topic from your textbook next specimen that will cap is of any plant species living in xeric or hydric condition like acacia cycas pinus nerium aquatic plants like pistia marsilia will be given in glass jar from this glass jar you have to identify specimen then you have to write modification and its adaptation from your journal another specimen that is kept is of animal living in xeric and hydric condition here specimens like prawn frog crab fish shark will be given in glass jar or they can also give you a photograph you have to write down its features and adaptation and uh, this content you can prepare it from your journal next specimen is of homologous or analogous organ any one organ chart or model will be given to you you have to identify it and describe it and you can prepare this content from your journal it is very easy to describe and identify this practical so prepare it very well here i am sharing some tips before you go to your practical exam when you enter in laboratory for your practical exam you have to submit your journal to examiner then according to your sheet number you have to take your position to table after that examiner will give you question paper from question paper you will get idea that which practical you have to write down in answer sheet and which practical you have to perform in total you have to perform three practicals i already share blueprint so prepare accordingly for question number 4 confirm eight practical will be asked so prepare it very well so that you can score maximum out of 24 marks when you go for your practical exam you have to bring compass box with pen pencil eraser sharpener scale dissection box with watch glass slide cover slip dropper etc and journal don't take 
any of this material from your friends and your neighbor students because it create negative image to examiner when you draw any drawing only use pencil you don't need to be panic for your viva question generally viva question is based on practical and theory of that practical so prepare it very well if you don't know answer of viva question you can also examine other student who are giving viva generally examiner will ask same type of questions to all students in observation table write your actual observations only don't copy it from your journal in question number 4 you can score maximum marks so identify specimen correctly for question number 4 prepare all practicals you have to identify it correctly and follow blueprint to prepare this question in this question you can score maximum marks so prepare it very well if you have like my video please like share and subscribe it thank you for watching